You know what's so amazing about life that I realized, right? What's so incredible about life is this. There can be 8 billion people in the world living in different places, different countries. Some living in the same place, the same city, different things like that. When each and every one of us are on our own individual track with life. Case in point, you have some people that are maybe young and in high school. They have no clue. They're totally oblivious to what some people are going through in the professional world, in the business world, in the work world. They think that high school is just it. Whereas those people in the business world, they're so fixated and preoccupied with handling their business that they don't even think twice what the people in high school are going through. We're all in this huge matrix, all going in our own individual directions. That's so fascinating and incredible to me about life, right? And here's why we're on our own tracks and our own lanes, not even realizing that other lanes exist. It's all about perception, my friend. Perception is everything, right? Case in point, you know why a lot of people think that their life is not good? Why a lot of people think that they're getting cheated in life, that life is unfair, it's because of their perception of life. It's because they continue to look at their life and say this is unfair. They look at it from an unfair perspective, from an unfair scope, right? And they also tell themselves this life is unfair. I don't like my life, it's terrible. And as a result, that becomes their reality. But what if I told you that that didn't have to be your reality, my friend? What if I told you that the same approach, that pessimistic approach to life, I don't like my life, I hate my life, everybody else got it so much better than me. I keep getting cheated in life, I keep getting the, the low end of the stick or the totem pole in life. If you keep telling yourself that, if you keep believing that, then that's what your life will become. But what if I told you that what if you took a different per perception of life? What if you looked at life from a perspective of regardless of what happens to you, you say that was supposed to happen. Regardless if you up or you down, you say this is where I'm supposed to be. Regardless of the timing of things in your life, what if you say this is when it was supposed to happen? That, my friend, would allow you to perceive your life as perfect. And let me tell you the benefits of looking at your life as perfection, right? The moment you can shift your cognition to start looking and thinking of life like that, this is what happens immediately. You eliminate most of your stress. Because most of people's stressors are triggered by thinking of what could have, what could have happened. Man, if I would only did this, then this could have happened. What would have happened? What if I'd have left earlier? This would have happened. And what should have happened? They shouldn't have got that. I should have got that. See, that's what most people stress out about. What would have, what could have, and what should have happened, right? But if you start embracing life as perfection, then everything happens when, where, and how it's supposed to. And therefore, no longer are you stressing about what could have, should have, or would have been, my friend. Because I'm here to tell you that your life is perfect. It really is. It's all about your perception, right? Let's go further. I know you may not believe, you may not think that your life is perfect. And I know why. Because of the unmet expectations when things didn't go your way. I know you're saying, how can my life be perfect when I lost loved ones? I lost my this or that person. How can my life be perfect when this happened to me? When I, I get it. But that still doesn't necessarily mean that your life is not perfect, right? Here's the thing. See, thinking that everything's supposed to work in your favor, that doesn't mean that your life is not perfect. That's an entitlement mindset right? 
We try to stay away from those entitlement mindset, thinking that we deserve something for doing nothing, right? What makes you think that everything in your life is supposed to be supposed to be peaches and cream? Right? No one ever said that's how life was supposed to be. Right? So here's the thing, that does just for the fact that you that the results didn't go the way you wanted it, that doesn't necessarily mean that doesn't reflect that life is flawed. But I tell you what it does reflect. That your thinking is flawed, my friend. Because let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you how you, your, your perception should be, right? Life is truly perfect. It really is, my friend. But it's our imperfect nature as human beings, right? That makes it difficult for us to accept. See, perfection to God is easy because he is God. He is love. He is perfect. But we're imperfect as human beings. Adam ruined that in the garden, right? So we're imperfect as human beings. So it's hard for us to wrap our mind around perfection. But all that stuff in your life, everything that happened, when, where, how, it is perfect, my friend. It's all up to you to align with it and perceive it as such. And let me tell you how. Here's three strategies that can help you, my friend. Number one, here's the thing. Your perception of life, it sets the tone for your acceptance of life, my friend. So rather than wrecking your mind, hating on other people and being jealous and envious because you think you got the short end of the other stick, hating on other people, being envious of other people, rather than doing that and trying to change life, Simply look in the mirror and change your perception of life, my friend, because all the answers to life problems are in the mirror, my friend. Did I tell you that your life is perfect, my friend? And here's the thing, number two, here's the thing you understand, that all adversity, all challenges, all problem, all pain, it comes with the equal, if not greater blessing. And I get it, the pain, the adversity, that comes free and easy. But you got to fight and be patient long enough to secure the blessing. So this is why your life seems unfair. This is why your life seems terrible. This is why your life seems like you're getting the short end of the stick because you haven't been patient. You haven't fought long enough to secure the blessings. So you just left with the sting. You're left with the pain and the challenge and the adversity because you're just coming with a survivor's mindset. No, that ain't it. That ain't going to get it, my friend. You got to come with a thriver's mindset, my friend. And that that is the only reason why you feel like you're getting the short end of the stick. But once you understand and start embracing life as perfection, that's when you'll start putting that energy and that effort out to secure your blessings, my friend. That's the other part of it. Because if those blessings would have came in, had you not just come trying to survive, oh, look at what I've overcome. Look at what I survived and came as a thriver. Like, yeah, I overcame it. We're going to use this to thrive and to elevate, my friend. That's your problem. That's where you went wrong, my friend. And number three, you got to develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? That's what you got to believe at all times, regardless of what it may look like, that, that life is always happening for you, not to you. Regardless of what it may look like or feel like, my friend, this game is yours to lose, my friend. Your life is the greatest show on earth, my friend. Your life is the best thing going on in all the world. Your life. Is your playground, my friend. Your life is yours to own, my friend. Your life, you got to own it, my friend. If you change your mind, you change your life, my friend. You change your perception of life. It sets the tone for your acceptance of life, my friend. Never forget that. Never forget this. You were born to be great.